Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jay. So in this video, I'm going to solve number 16 from bfe.dev. It's create an event emitter. I think I've solved this before, but not on this website. So I'm going to redo it anyway. Okay, this is an uh, event emitter. Uh, okay, we're asked to create a class. You should support subscribing. Okay, we have uh, subscribe event one to this callback one. We can subscribe to event two with callback two. Same callback could subscribe on the same event multiple times. Uh -huh. Then event emit could be used to trigger an audit callbacks with arguments relayed and subscription returned by subscribe is a release method that could be used to unsubscribe. Yeah, so obviously we to we need to uh, we need to keep track of the mapping between the event and the callbacks. Notice that even for the same event, the same callbacks will be multiple one. Uh, we actually we could. Uh, just to use an array to hold the, all the callbacks, allowing for the duplicate in that array, right? So first, we use a map between the event and the callback array, and then we use that array to hold the callback. So for subscription, we just uh, insert the new callback to the array, and then when and then we release a, a return the subscription, which has a release method. When it is called, we just uh, uh, remove the item from the array, but at this time the array might have duplicates. Um, if we keep track of the index, the index might alter uh, every time we release a method, right, for the rest element. So that is not good. Um, we could just, uh, yeah, we just uh, uh, search for the array and. Uh, Remove, remove the first item we found because they are the same, right? Because we are the same, uh, the callback is the same. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we remove them, even though there are multiple one. Okay, so let's do it. Um, oh shit. So let's do it. Okay, so in this event emitter, we obviously need to keep track of the mapping, right? So we use uh, uh, subscriptions here, we use an object to hold the mapping between the event name and the callback array. Uh, when we subscribe to an event, uh, we check if this array is there. If not, we initialize it with a new empty array. So if event name in this subscriptions, if not in it, we add the empty array to it. And then we can just safely put the callback, push it into the array, right? So this sub, sub, subscription, event name, a push. Maybe we need to use this in a later, so we uh, cache it with uh, callbacks. We push the callback into the callbacks and as the re problem says we need to return uh, a subscription which has the release method so return release when this function is called we remove the callback from the callbacks the position doesn't matter so we just return the first one okay the Okay, the uh, subscribe and the release. Now, the event might not be in the subscription while after it's released, right? So we need to first check it. Um, we say we just get the callbacks again. Uh, yeah, I need to maybe add the if check here. If the event is not in the subscription. Hmm. Wait a minute. If the the these for this re release these the uh, wait a minute a subscription subscribe and return it when it is called. Okay, I need to use the arrow function here. Uh, uh, actually. Okay, if it is not in it, we just return. We don't need to any, do anything, right? If it is there, we get the callbacks, which is this. 
and then we just uh, get the index which is callbacks index of uh, callback if index is smaller than zero means there's no entry of this callback we just return obviously uh, if it is there we just use splice max splice index one without anything being added we splice it and yeah it's done this is for all for release and after release rather than holding the empty array for internal for in, uh forever we just uh we could check it so if callbacks dot is zero we could just delete this subscription event name okay what event is emitted it's pretty simple uh obviously we check if this event is there if not we do nothing and then we could uh loop through all the callbacks and just trigger them so for callback of this subscription event name because when emitted is called it must be the uh uh the event emitter the this does not does not uh, matter here so we could just uh just call back call trigger the callback directly args and then yeah yeah that's it i think it should work hmm no it says callback index of is not the function oh it should be callbacks great that's it um it's not very difficult yeah anyway hope it helps see you next time bye bye